Welcome everyone to another amazing video. My name is Mike Hardington. Let's go through the process of updating our app to Ionic 5. Here we see an example of an Ionic 4.0 app running with Angular 8.2. Now this app has not been updated yet, so if we start to navigate around and then open up our dev tools, we'll start to see some deprecated CSS warnings printed out in the console. Now, even though this is still a 4.0 app, this deprecated warning is going to be coming in effect in R5.0. So these are some of the things that we can do before upgrading to better prepare ourselves for 5.0. Let's go ahead and open up our browse component and then address these CSS warnings. Now, the warning that we're getting is that the attribute of padding and text center have been replaced with the CSS classes of ion padding and ion text center. So if we go to take a look inside of our app, we can start to inspect the certain areas where we see these attributes being attached to DOM nodes. Here, I have it listed on a random div. So what I can do is just replace this with class equals ion padding and ion text center. Now notice that the warning has been removed from our console logs. So our app still behaves as one would expect. And we are now ready to upgrade to V5. So first what we'll do is we'll close our editor and kill our server and we'll install v5 with npm install at ionic angular at latest. With this installed, we are technically upgraded to v5. We can run our ionic serve again. And our app is running and working as one would expect. But what you might not notice is that there are some missing icons down here at the bottom. Let's go address that. Part of the V5 upgrade was a upgrade to the latest version of Ionicons, which changed the name of some of the icons that we are familiar with. If we were to open up our editor and go to the component that has these icons, the icon in question here is skip forward. So what we'll do is go to ionicons.com and we'll search for the replacement icon. Now I know that this icon was called forward and I wanna find the filled version of this icon and I can see it right here. So what I'll do is just copy this down Go back to my editor, paste in the new icon, and update its slot position. Delete the old icon, and then hit save. We can now close ionicons.com, and on reload, we have our icon back where we wanted it. Now, CSS changes and icon updates are only part of the migration of a V5 app. For a more complete list of breaking changes, please check out the breaking changes document that we have in the main Ionic repository. Once the migration process has been completed, for a bonus round, you can go over to your app and actually upgrade to Angular's 9.0 release. To upgrade to Angular 9, we can run ng update at Angular core and at angular cli and since we have a dirty github repository we can pass the flag allow dirty and this will upgrade all of our angular dependencies to their latest 9.0 release as well as perform any migration schematics that we could need now that the ng update has been completed, we can see a list of schematics that Angular CLI was running. And if we want to find more information about them, 
we have links to their docs to read more about what those changes were. And if you are completely new to Angular 9, there is a new updating to version 9 doc that goes over everything that you need to know about Angular 9. With this completed, we can run Ionic serve again. And what you'll see is that we have this pre-compilation step running before our app is even served. This is a feature of Angular 9 where all of the app's dependencies are compiled separately from the app itself, meaning we'll get faster reload times and faster build times. And we have successfully upgraded our app from Ionic 4 to Ionic 5 and Angular 8 to Angular 9.0.